All right, everyone, welcome to another product demonstration. Today, we're checking out the DeWalt Automotive Cordless Jump Starter. This is model number DXAE20VBBK. So let's open it up and see what we get. All right, we have our instructions for the unit and the included battery. The actual unit itself is actually a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. But it's pretty neat. It's a decent size. We have our 20 volt, 5 amp battery. And then your standard charger. So your basic charger, non-rapid charging. Twenty volt, five amp battery once again. And then the unit. As with any fresh battery, we'll go ahead and get it charged so we have the full capacity of the battery. Plugging in the charger. And then we're just going to connect the battery. The thing with these DeWalt batteries, when you do plug them in, they will drop into place and they feel like they're in, but you do have to click them just a little bit more to get that going. So let's go ahead and get this charged and we'll come back and check out the overview on the unit. All right, so now that we have the battery charged and ready to go, we'll give you a quick overview of the unit itself. So the battery is fully charged. As you can see, you can press the button up front here and get your battery indicator. We'll put that off to the side. Up front, we have your LED button. You have your boost on and off, essentially the power button for the main unit and the button to turn on the two USB ports here on the front. I do like this. It's a little quick start guide, essentially giving you an overview of all the different lights and what their indicators mean. And on the back, we have the battery compartment, which your battery will just slide right in. Drop it all the way down till you hear the click. And then you have your positive and your negatives. There is little slots. What I was trying to do earlier, I was trying to place them in here, but actually it seems like you will have to open them and grip them on these little tabs right here to kind of secure them in properly. So the LED button on the front will light up the two LEDs on the back. Give you an overview of that and then here a little bit later in the video I'll do a better demonstration of that. The boost on off, I'm not sure if you can see that. It actually won't work until it detects a proper connection on the positive and the negative. So once again, in the later bit of the video when we go boost my car battery that should be demonstrated for you guys. And then the USB power button will power these two up. And that pretty much covers the overview of the unit. Overall, kind of lightweight, small, portable. I do like it. So let's go ahead and take it outside and I'll show you what this guy can do. All right, and checking out the LED function on the unit. So it does have two built-in LED lights on the back, which you can control with a button on the front. I mean, it does provide quite a bit of light. The only issue I have with it is that the light points straight back so as soon as you place the unit down, you're lighting up whatever's directly behind it. When ideally you would want the light to sit a little bit higher and be angled downwards, kind of like in here, so you can see what you're working on. That's really the only gripe. I mean, honestly, if you're in a bind and you don't have a cell phone light, for example, to work with, it works. Is it ideal? No, but it's you know one of those features that it's nice to have when you need it. So overall, it's okay. Just wanted to give you a little quick insight into that part of the unit. All right, so here we are outside with the unit and our battery. So essentially, here's what we're gonna do. To get going, we're gonna take the red for positive. We're gonna attach it to the positive terminal. And then the black does not go on the negative terminal. It actually goes on a ground or a piece of um, metal in your car. So in our case, I do have a ground nut right here.
Now I will say the one thing I don't like about the unit is that these cables are extremely short. I mean this kind of works but I don't like how close this is to the actual battery especially when every single piece of instruction and information that I know is if you're doing something like this you want to try to keep the battery as far as possible. Um, it might be hard to see so once we get going we'll hit the boost button. If you did it right it'll complete the circuit and actually is a little blinking green light. It's kind of impossible to see obviously because it's um kind of bright out here. So we'll let ahead and we'll go ahead and let it do its thing and then we'll come back um, once it's ready. When it's ready the boost light will be a solid green light. All right it's been a little bit. I did go inside so I don't know how long it was running for but we do have a solid green light so we'll go ahead and disconnect the booster. Um, we'll take the negative off first followed by the positive. We'll get this out of the way and we'll give the car a crank and see if it did anything. Alright, so it looks like it works perfectly fine. It boosted the battery and it started the car right up. Definitely happy with this. Nice little guy to have, especially in the event of an emergency. It's portable size, compact, it's really lightweight. Um, as I mentioned before, the only thing is since it is a lithium ion battery, you're not supposed to store it in the car. Um, but overall, yeah, something you can keep in the trunk. You know, if someone breaks down somewhere and you just want to grab this really quick and help them out, just grab it and go. I mean, yeah, pretty solid unit. Definitely recommend it. Like always, if you like the content, make sure you like and subscribe. Any questions, just leave the comment down below and I'll answer them when I can. We'll see you around for the next one.